All right, hello again, everyone. Uh, this is poem number three, read aloud, called Drum Dream Girl. It is also known as Daring to Dream by Mar Margarita Ingel. 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 I'm reading that wrong, I apologize. So first off, the background information here, it says, Margarita Eagle is a Cuban-American poet, novelist, and journalist, as well as the author of many children's books. She has received numerous awards, including the San Diego Book Award and Claudia Lewis Poetry Award. This poem is inspired by the childhood of Milo Castro Zaldarriaga, who broke a Cuban drumming tradition skill focus. In this lesson, you'll practice analyzing how the author's word choice affects the meaning of a poem. Analyzing the effect of word choice means paying attention to descriptive words, phrases. As you read, take note of the speaker's language about the drum dream girl and the message it reveals. So just pay close attention to what the poem's trying to say as I read. Basically, the poet uses very good words to really describe what's going on. All right, let's get started. On an island of music, in a city of drum beats, the drum dream girl dreamed of pounding tall conga drums, tapping small bongo drums, and boom, boom, booming with long, loud sticks on a big, round, silvery, moon-bright timbales, which, from the footnote, are conga, bonga, and timbales are different types of drums, by the way. But everyone on the island of music in the city of drum beats believed that the only boys should play drums. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming, quiet, secret, drum beat dreams. At the outdoor, at outdoor cafes that looked like gardens, she heard drums played by men. But when she closed her eyes, she could also hear her own imaginary music. When she walked under wind wavy palm trees in a flower bright park, she heard the, the whir of parrot wings, meaning the flapping, the clack of woodpecker beaks, the dancing tap of her own footsteps and the comforting pat of her own heartbeat. At the, car at the carnivals, she listened to the rattling beat of towering dancers on, on stilts, and the dragon clang of costume drummers wearing huge masks. At home, her fingertips rolled out their own dreamy drum rhythm on tables and chairs. And even though everyone kept reminding her that girls on the, the island of music had never, have never played drums, the brave drum dream girl dared to play. Tall conga drums, small bongo drums, and big round silvery moon bright timba, timbales her hands seemed to fly as they rippled, rapped, and pounded at the, ryth the rhythms of her drum dreams. Her big sisters were so excited that they invited her to join their new all-girl dance band. But their father said only boys should play drums. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming and drumming alone. Until finally, her father offered to find a music teacher who could decide in if her drums deserved to be heard. The drum dream girl's teacher was amazed. The girl knew so much, but he taught her more and more and more. She practiced and she practiced and she practiced until the teacher agreed that she was ready to play her small bongo drums outdoors at a starlit cafe that night like a garden where everyone who heard her dream bright music sang and danced and decided that girls should always be allowed to play drums. And both girls and boys should feel free to dream. And that's it. I hope you liked that one. Thank you for listening.